Okay, today we're talking about how to replace a detergent dispenser on a GE dishwasher. Specifically, the model of dishwasher we're working on today is a GDT630PYM6FS. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is not a promotion for GE or any product or vendor, etc. Now, the symptoms my customer was having with this dishwasher was the dishes were not getting clean and the detergent dispenser door not opening during the wash cycle. <gasps> it's very important to remember before beginning this repair or any repair on any appliance, always unplug the dishwasher. Or if it's hardwired, go out and turn the circuit breaker off at the circuit breaker panel. The detergent dispenser part number for this dishwasher is WD12X24058. At the time of this recording, it was right around $20. With the dishwasher unplugged, we'll remove this bottom kick plate. There's two screws that you see here that you will unscrew. You'll reach up and unplug the little wiring harness. There's a little plastic tab on the side of the wire connector you have to squeeze and then pull down. It'll unplug. Open the dishwasher door and unscrew the round little plastic vent lefty loosey righty tighty <laughs> again a better view of that wiring harness and there's a little plastic mounting tab that you also need to pull out of the hole that it is mounted into And with the door open, unscrew the two mounting screws that attach the dishwasher to the underside of your countertop. Then gently pull the dishwasher out from underneath the countertop a few inches. With the dishwasher pulled out, unclip both hinge cable plastic clips that you see here in this picture. There's one on each side. Then gently wiggle and pull the door up and off of the hinge pins and gently lay the door flat on the ground. And again, that vent cap has been removed. That's how you install it. So once we replace the detergent dispenser, that's how we'll reinstall that vent cap, if you're not sure. And now we'll separate the front stainless steel door panel from the inner plastic door panel. There's a series of clips along the side that slide in and out of rectangular notches. So you have to gently pull up on the door and it'll pull out and away from the stainless steel front panel. Woo! Then you simply gently remove the insulation That's covering the detergent dispenser. Remove those six screws. Disconnect that little wire harness that you see there. That old detergent dispenser will fall out. Put the new detergent dispenser in place. 
and reverse your steps. And try to do this with one hand. <laughs> Put that black retaining ring back on, install all six screws, and plug that little green wire connector back into the orange connector. Make sure all your six of your screws are installed and snug. This only goes in one way. Reattach your insulation. And then the most tricky part of this job is reconnecting the stainless steel front door panel with this inner plastic door panel. It takes a bit of finagling to get all of those tabs to line up and to get that top push button assembly to line up as well. Once you accomplish that, you're then going to put the door back onto the hinge pins. And they rest on those pins. Those pins go in those slots. And then remember to reattach your cables. Yeah, there's a slot for the hinge pins. Remember that, reattach that white cable on both sides. That slide into these grooves you see here. And again, final steps. Gently push the dishwasher back under the countertop and reattach the two mounting screws under the countertop. Reinstall that round plastic vent if you haven't done so already. Reattach the wiring harness underneath the door down by that kick plate. And you may need to use a small mirror to help you see what you're doing and a flashlight. Then reinstall the bottom kick plate with those two screws. Plug the dishwasher back in. Test run the dishwasher and verify that the detergent dispenser door now indeed opens. I hope this information helped. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.